Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm not really this quick, we're in a time lapse, I'm going to explain just why in one second. But first of all, if you like this video, please let me know by clicking on that like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So, uh, what are we doing? We've now had... 15 different attempts at rescuing poor Jeb from the Mun. Uh, he got trapped there and quite frankly it was getting to the point now where I was not enjoying the game anymore so uh, I did something that I forgot I could do which is go to an old save. So <laughs> we've just gone back in time. Jeb's fine. He's back on the planet. Uh, but we do need to start working on some serious science points if we want to advance in the game. You know, we want to be looking at doing some satellites. We want to be looking at doing some moon bases. Uh, you know, various things like that. Even a space station at some point. And for that, we need science. So rather than risk poor Jeb again, I'm uh, going to go back to the moon. But this time, we're going to do an unmanned lander that we're not even bothered about trying to get home. Uh, and that's what this is here. So we're using one of the Octo pieces, I forget. And uh, I wanted to do this a time lapse because we're going to go again up to Minmus with a scientist and kind of do a, an orbital uh, pass of Minmus and get loads of science with that. But here, I just needed a bit of science using um, this uh, this Moon research craft. So uh, here he goes, basically. We're going to fly him off. Uh, nice and simple. The good thing about not taking people with you is one, you don't have to worry about getting back, which means you need less Delta V in the final stages. It means that actually a pretty simple rocket will get to the moon and land. And I almost land it. Uh, you'll see in a moment that I almost land it. So it's just a case of getting ourselves into a decent orbit around Kerbin. Um, again, I'm still learning loads. Thank you so much to everyone who keeps adding tips in the comments and also on the Discord as well. Lots of real great stuff over there for helping me try and understand delta v and stuff like that i'm kind of getting there but I, yeah i might just my head's not built for this kind of thing i don't think but i'm having such a laugh and i am enjoying myself playing it i, I really am I, i've said this before on a few other series i genuinely um I ha is having the most fun in kerbal out of all the stuff i'm playing at the moment i genuinely am having the most fun apart from trying to get jeb back jesus christ that was tough <laughs> uh, so here just trying to play around because i didn't want to come the the wrong side of the moon is what i'm doing here and I don't suppose there's really a problem with it, but I just wanted to get it right. But unfortunately, I, the slightest, slightest little maneuver uh, would throw me out there, look, and we'd lose the orbit. So um, this is just not me sort of tickling back and forth, really, just to try and catch that. Uh, and then we go for it and then readjust when we get there. There we go. So again, it's not massively efficient. Efficiency isn't really the sort of thing I'm looking into yet. I'm more just about not blowing up. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the plan here. So uh, the interesting thing I'm using here that I haven't done before is using the um, the, the communicators, the, the sort of aerials, the antenna to send information back from the uh, from the moon, uh, from the moon, and it doesn't um, it doesn't give you quite as much science, I don't think, as opposed to getting it back. Um, but I still think it's a great way of accruing some science when you're like me and you can't work out Delta V properly and not, therefore always run out of fuel to get home. So uh, so in the next mission, I'm going to try and not land at all. We're, like I say, we're going to go to Minmus and we're basically going to sit here like this. So we're going to get up to Minmus. We're going to go up with a scientist. We're going to do science over each of the biomes because each of the different biomes you're above, as long as you're low enough, uh, will give you a new set of science. So we're just going to go around Minmus, uh, do biome, 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 and then hopefully get back because we will have a scientist with us. We need a scientist with us to refresh the science uh, experiments, okay? So uh, that's kind of the plan there. So we're doing a quick descent. Um, trying one of these suicide descents, which is pretty much where you just come straight down. Uh, and it worked out pretty nicely. You'll see this now. I'm so annoyed myself. I think I'm just going to start sticking like eight landing legs on everything. Because we come down and just um, even, even at 800 times speed, I think this is. Look how long it takes to get down. Um, and then the final moment. Uh, look, I'm keeping an eye on my surface speed and everything. We're really, really low down there. Look. And it lands and falls over. Fantastic. So I'm like, whatever. We'll get all the science. <laughs> and then we have to send it back. Next time we're going to need a bit more of a battery space when we do this. Because we run out of battery a couple of times. And I have to just let it fill up, uh, basically. And send the stuff. But it works. Get stuff there and back. And then I have a, one little go at taking off. And it blows up. There we go. Right. Uh, let's go to some real-time footage. And uh, let's see if we can do a science tour of Minmus. Right then. So let's get into the VAB. And have a look at a little... Uh, oh god, it's been a while since I've been in here. I can't remember any of the controls. 
Uh, in fact, none of the controls are doing anything. Why are none of the controls doing anything? Hello? Have I got to put something down first? Uh, right then, so we're going to start with one of these. So that's a six-sided one, that's an eight-sided one. I guess the eight-sided one is probably going to be good for us. Now we can move around. Okay, cool. So these things, but these mean you can steer the ship, basically. So that's kind of what we want to start with. And then uh, we'll worry about the ship in a minute. First of all, let's have a look at turning this actually into something that will fly around. A reaction wheel, a small incline one. This is, means we can just move it around a bit easier. So I, I mean, I don't. We might not need that, but I feel like I'm going to put one on anyway. And um, RCS we won't need. Now structure-wise, we may need to come back and. Uh, look at some sort of structure. What are you? You're just a little old box, aren't you? Okay, so I'm not too worried about that just yet. Um, service bay, I'm not too worried about. To be fair, there isn't really that much we can stick onto here. Here's a good good thing. This is a... Uh, yeah, one times six. That's what we want. Okay, so let's zoom in. Uh, zoom in. There we go. Sorry, it's been a little bit while since I played this, to be honest. Uh, oh, these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be, but I think they'll be okay. Let's uh, let's see if we can get four on there like that. There we go. Uh, extend. Yeah, they look they look pretty good, don't they? So okay, retract. Good. Um. And then we need to get some sort of battery space on there, I guess, to help. St I mean, not that we'll really need it, I suppose, but we'll get some battery on there just in case. And then we can have a cool little relay antenna on the top. Just one will be nice. Thank you. Whoops, it is. There we go. It's kind of snappy. And there we go. There's the snap. Okay. Um. I mean that looks like an old that looks like a rocket. That looks like a satellite, doesn't it? I mean that's that really is as simple as that. Uh I think what I do want to do though is put these on the other side. There we go. There we go. How do we how do we get that to snap? There we go, there we go. There we go. Snaps a bit funny on that one. Um and I don't really feel like we need anything else on here. Then we can put some more computertrons, I suppose, to make sure we've really got the signal we need. Um, like something like that. And then when we retract those... Oh yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, cool. And then the other thing really then is they can get some of these like small thermal panels. These problem is they're pretty, pretty big, these. Um, is there a little one? Small, medium, small. Okay, so let's try small. See, small doesn't look too bad. Or well, radiator. No, see, radiator is still pretty big. So, deployable thermal control. Deployable. Okay, so let's have a look what that looks like when we deploy it. Ah, okay. They are the same kind of things. Ah, right. Okay. So, in that case, I mean, that is. They are massively overkill then, in that case. We just want something like this on it instead. What about sticking you. Um, I mean, we don't we don't really need them, do we? I suppose. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go for that then. Let's uh, let's let's just retract all of this for now. And you as well. Retract. So that's that. I, the problem is here. Really, is there's no real reason for it to be up there. I don't think it does anything. Um, so really, to make it do something, I guess we could stick some very light science to it. Maybe do some spe uh, heat experiments and things like that up there. Because otherwise, it it really is kind of superfluous. So um, let's let's see about sticking a couple of bits to it. What about um, hmm? I don't want to go anything there because we're going to have to decouple, aren't we? So what about inside it? Let's see if we can zoom in and have a look. What about... Hmm, see that lets me fit that there. Ah, no it doesn't. It sticks it on the way out. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, let's go to uh, structural stuff. 
And how big are you? Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Let's just put you there and see if we can get a bit of a, a bit of space there for what we want it for. Oops. Well, oh, where am I going? There we go. Okay, so we'll put a thermometer on one side and a, a barometer on the other. There we go. Uh, there we go. That gives us a little bit of science. And it still keeps the whole thing pretty neat, size-wise. Um, I think... No, I, th I think we're looking a little bottom heavy now. So I'm going to move... Um, I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move you to there. I'm going to move the electricity up to there. And then you on top. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to save that on its own, first of all, as... Um, uh, um, I don't really have a name for it really, it's a satellite. Uh, uh, how the hell do you spell satellite? <laughs> Why on earth? Oops, can I not know how to spell satellite? I'm going to double check on my phone. Sat, it's double T? No. Do, do. We're going to have the music for a second while I do this. I was close. It's double L and one T. There we go. So we'll call it um, Relay Satellite Mar 1. No, we have to use Roman numerals, don't we? Somebody pointed that out. Okay, a simple sa satellite for, si for simple science. <laughs> okay, and we'll save that. All right, so that's that. We're now gonna oh, we're gonna, gonna tab out the game, and then we're gonna uh, wrap a little end, little rocket around this. Doesn't have to be anything major here, because literally all we need to do is get into the atmosphere. So, and it's very light. So first of all, we're gonna set a decoupler. Um, I don't need anything that big. Normal size one will do, which I'm pretty sure is you. Now, when that goes off, because we want we want to leave, we want the decoupler to kind of go with it, really. Um, so we actually want the decoupler to be that way. I think we do, don't we? Okay, and then we want some fuel. There we go. Um, Tell you what, we'll do a we'll do a little stage for just kind of getting it up there. Um, and in in we need we need something on it that'll pair it, don't we? So we need some we need one of these that's going to actually let us control this thing. All right. Okay, and then. We stick a little terrier engine on that. Okay, so that's going to be the that gets us to where we want to be, and then we can depoil that and um, smash it back down to earth. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need is um, let's cover all this up to keep it nice and neat. So we want um, what all that? What's that under? I can never remember what all that one's under. Payload? No. Coupling? No. Oh, do we not have it unlocked yet? Because I did have a, another go over. So I may not have that sort of stuff on lots. It doesn't look like I have. Okay, well that's fine. We'll we'll manage it out and hope it's fine. Uh, so instead, then we'll just put a regular decoupler on there. Then. Okay, and then a fair old rocket. Oops, let me zoom out. Oh my god! How many times am I going to do that? There we go. Shift. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So engines, fuel. Let's get a couple of them to be safe um, with a swivel on it and then we'll do a simple 
uh, what do they call it? Uh, asparagus stage here with um, fuel there. Should be more than enough luck here. Yeah, there is plenty of fuel here, but we'll go for it to be safe. Um, we'll do it this way to be safe. There we go. And then stick. Oh yeah, them on the bottom. Still doing great for Delta V. Stick them there. And I think that should be okay. Let's just hope that doesn't bat get too batter too much in the uh, in the uh, thing you you know in the atmosphere. I know what, I'm just gonna save that as the relay rocket. We'll change this as we need to. Okay, let's see if we can get this up in the up in the air. So like I say, I'm doing this more of a proof of concept to be honest with you. I don't really think satellites do that much in this game. Um, so this is more for just to see whether or not we can do it and whether and just to kind of give us a little task really I think really what's gonna to have to happen is I do another couple of Mimus and Moon missions just off camera just to build up that science a little more so we can start looking at things like um, you know rockets and, and whatever so we want all of you to go off at once they come off when we need that comes off when we need that's the rocket that comes off when we need okay cool um, let's F5 it save and go for launch okay so we'll get sass on. We've got full sass with that thing. I think we're controlling from here. Um, which looks like we are. Yeah, so that's fine. Going straight up in the air here nicely. Not a problem so far. We're going to start to tear over a little. Problem is here, we're pretty light. Um, and we're going to start to get a little quick. So, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, God. Press the wrong button. Um, see if it'll find us still. Arrgh. There we go. It's almost good enough, actually. Just want to bring that surface speed down a little. There we go. There we go. What a save. <laughs> um, not too worried about like fuel consumption and stuff here, because quite frankly... Um, we're literally just going to get up into the air, so it's not so much of a problem, that, to be honest. Let's have a look how we're doing for our apoapsis. Again, not awful. Um, although it looks like it's... Oh, no, it's starting to keep off. There we go. Um, oh, no, 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 no. We're going off again. I think we're just a little... Point towards your prograde, please. There we go. How's that looking? Ouch, we're nearly there. That's no good. We're going to have to start this again, aren't we? That was awful. Um, revert flight, revert to launch. Let's try that again. I think there was just a bit too much power, to be honest with you. I'm going to sort of, I'm going to only sort of second part throttle start off with in fact I'll even leave that one off let's just let's just throttle two thirds um, to try that get our sass on make sure we're coming from the right place control from here okay let's try that oh. and we need that full throttle just to get off the ground don't we that's crazy but hopefully once we're up to about a hundred and 50, 200 speed wise, I think we're going to start to knock that down a little. Alright, starting to get to a decent speed now, so we're just going to ease up a little. Okay, keep going a little, there we go. I keep getting into the air. Happy with how that's going so far. Speed's still going up nicely. I'm just going to kind of let it go straight up, to be honest, for now. And then as we start to... There we go. It's just there every time, look. Just need to lose it. See if we can fix it. If not... Let's just start to go back and have a look at the problem. Please point towards your prograde. Hmm. 
really not too sure what's going wrong here. Um, yeah, really don't really know what the problem is. Maybe just not enough power just to get us up, even though the Delta V is good enough. We're coming down. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the vehicle assembly and just have a little play around with this. What I'm going to try and do is is just give it a bit. First of all, I'm going to try it because I don't really understand really the proper mechanics of all this sort of stuff yet. So I'm going to start off by giving it more juice, like a lot more juice. All right. Um, So I'm going to start with this and see if this uh, sort of does what we need it to do. Move those down, thank you. Beautiful. There we go. Um, and we'll put our little thingies on top of them because every little helps. Boop. There we go. And then we will alt click and put them on the other side oops okay how's that they're fine but they're a little out okay all right that looks fine let's move you down just a tad all right let's try that let's save it that's gonna hopefully level it out a bit um okay all the rockets going off together now yep yeah, and then those and those pop off together and then they do when we want them to okay cool save that and give it a launch let's see if that helps us in any way it might not i just that, that seemed to be the problem it wasn't just it didn't have much oomph you know needs to really push into the atmosphere it's almost like the atmospheric pressure holds it up you know um, so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna throttle it right up and then we'll see what happens okay oh they're a little bit wobbly they're a little bit wobbly but I think we're gonna be okay with them they could well break off but so far I think we're gonna be okay basically what it's doing is although the speeds pretty high th there we go this sort of waving is what's gonna keep us on the straight and narrow hopefully it's all right we're getting a little fast but nothing's going red yet so I think as long as all this sort of stuff's okay here which it looks like it is I think we're gonna be okay so as soon as this solid fuel gets done we're gonna drop them off and then we're gonna start to turn oh no now we shouldn't, we're out of the atmosphere now, so we should be able to stop turning and start pointing where we want to go. Surely. We can even, like, cheat a little with time warp, can we? Oh no, not, 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 not enough. <laughs> uh, Alright, there you go. Go on, you, you, you're where you want to be now. There's no atmosphere, so you should be able to point to his progress. There we go, perfect. All right, well, that's put us... That's not just too bad at all, actually. We'll drop them. Um, and we'll... That's it, what, we'll get rid of them. There we go. Okay, let's get a manoeuvre in place for the Apple Apsis 144. Okay. And what we're going to do is basically throw this into an orbit. Uh, hopefully, 204.87. Ouch, that's way off. Uh, 186. There we go. So they need to come around this way, don't they? 128. Ouch. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to have to have a couple of goes at this. But that'll do to start off with, I think. Although, actually, we'd probably better put in this point to where we want it to be. We want it to be 100. There we go, that's about right. And then we'll neaten it up on that side. So, let's go back out of map. There we go. Point towards the manoeuvre. Like so. Okay, and then we'll speed up time. Until probably about there, I suppose. And then we'll burn. Okay, now that's going to be space junk, unfortunately. 
hoping to have got rid of that earlier, to be honest, but never mind. Let's have a look. That's going to start pulling our apoapsis out. Okay. Okay, we're looking all right. Looking okay for fuel. We've got a little bit of fuel left in the end there just to kind of do our last little maneuvers. Hopefully this will whip us. No, we're getting there. 500 milliseconds fuel-wise. Yeah, I think we're going to be no problems here getting to where we want to be. So here it comes. That last little bit. It all happens in that last little second, doesn't it? And... Oh, we run out of fuel. Well, that'll have to do then because there's really no point in uh, sending that next bit out. So let's pop it off then. There we go. That might be an issue. This thing's going to be in the way now, isn't it? But let's... Uh, there we go. We might have to do something about that. Uh, all right, let's have a look. Let's get rid of this. Yep, yeah, okay, good. And now our periaps is a 102, our apoaps is 193, so we're quite a way out here. We're going to set up another maneuver here to drag these numbers in, excuse me, so 193, there we go, that's more like it, whoop, there we go, see if we can get, whoa, hello, see if we can get these nice and lined up 102 102 that is almost perfect and it's only a 60 second burn as well so we'll take that we'll get over here we'll warp to it and we'll stick ourselves in maneuver position okay we're pointing the right way are we yes we are okay last thing is to Get rid of that. Okay, so this is going to be something new for us. It's something we haven't really messed with yet, is controlling two different units, you know. So that's going to be cool to see how we get on with that. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that at all. Oh. Um, what's that done to our numbers? 169. Okay, it's all right, I think. Sorry, I meant to press that, actually. I pressed the wrong one. Bring it down to the last second. There we go. And then burn and off. Okay, let's have a look at that. Uh, periapsis is 102.94. Apoapsis is 104. So we could do it a little bit more. There we go. How's that? 102.91. Oh, way off. Okay. Uh, retrograde. 103.101. Okay. And uh, retrograde. Can we get both of those numbers the same? Yeah, we can. Do you know what? I'm going to call that fine. All right, so let's get back into the map. Here we go. So let's try this then. We're going to we're going to do that. Decouple. Oh no, it does stay there. That's a shame. I would prefer it to not. But now we should be able to go. I want to. I want to. I want to. Oh, we'll do that later. Okay, so we're still controlling this. Yeah, we're going to turn SAS on. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to turn stability assist on. There we go. And we should be able to now point this to there. Do you know what? That ring actually looks pretty cool, so I'm okay with it. Um, we should be able to do this. Extend. Now, apparently, there is a way we can uh, attach all these to um, to like a co like a bit of code to do all at once, but we haven't done that. So I'm gonna get some sexy solar panels out. Look at these go. How good do these look? And there we go. There is our first satellite orbiting Kerbal. How good. Now apparently, oh that was it. Yeah, these keys. There we go. These keys uh, do what we need them to do. So we don't have any SAS or anything. So that is, do we do control from here? No, that's interesting. Oh, it has no electrical charge. All right, well, luckily, I think it's actually facing the right way that if we just burn now... Oh, we can't burn, can we? Because there's no electrical charge and there's no way of earning electrical charge onto it. Okay, well, in that case, that is just going to float. It's got the fuel. Uh, never mind. <laughs> 
Okay, well, let's just go back to this. So apart from leaving a bit of a mess, uh, we now have a pretty cool satellite. So um, let's, where's our, can we reach our science? Oh, it's going to be tricky. That's a kind of our own fault though, isn't it? Because of where we put it. Uh, there we go. We can do you. Can we log pressure data? Can't get any science from here. Ne in space near Kirby. And so it is going a little bit lower. So I wonder if under 100. Um, if it actually, if it actually, if, does it get under 100,000? I'm not sure it does. Oh, it does. Okay, okay, okay. So let's try that. Now can we do it? Log pressure data. It's still in space near Kirby. I was hoping we'd get all the different biomes. Maybe we're just a bit too far away. Well, do you know what? I don't really care because if anything else, if nothing else, sorry, it done not look cool, doesn't it? So I think uh, we'll have to just leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, please. Ideas, where do we go next? Um, I think I'm going to have to do a couple of Minmus and Moon missions um, just to kind of get the bits of science from the different biomes so that uh, we can build our science points up and maybe look at doing space stations, I guess, moon bases, that kind of stuff is where we're heading towards. But, uh, you know, baby steps, please, baby steps. Any suggestions, please let me know. I don't, this looks ace. I, I, although it's kind of useless, I feel like it looks the part and I'm happy with that. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.